Hey guys, this is Vashesh Mishra, your test coach. Today we are going to discuss a very important interview question. What will you do if the defect is not reproducible? Being a tester, we all face this kind of problems, right? So how to deal with it? What is the best way? Interviews want to understand how much you are clear about software testing concepts. So let me help you to give a proper answer. First, we will understand why we need to reproduce a defect. There are two things. Let me explain you. First, we know when we test a software and if it does not work as per the software requirement, then we raise a defect. right? So, when we raise a defect, we may give some proper steps, screenshots and assign it to the developer. So, once developer fixes it, we retest the same defect and close it. So, when a developer fixes a defect, first he need to accept that defect, right? If it is a valid defect or not. So, he should able to reproduce the defect. If he is not able to reproduce it, then what you will fix? Similarly, when you retest a defect, first you should able to reproduce the defect. Then only you will able to understand this was not working before and after fix this is working, right? So, you should able to reproduce the defect, then only you will find the difference what is happening after the fix. So, mainly the challenges happened when developer is not able to reproduce the issue. They reject your bug and mark it as a invalid defect and the reason being is it is not reproducible. So, what you will do in this case? Because when you tested it, you have seen the defect was there and now you are also not getting the defect. Is that mean it is an invalid defect and you will close it? No, right? You should never do that. You should first convince yourself that there is no issue. Then the question is coming how you will do it. So, here are few points I am going to tell you what you should do if you are not able to reproduce the issue. So, the very first thing is use exact steps to replicate the defect. You should think of the exact steps like test data, environment, system settings, screenshots, server logs and all. It is always a good practice to easily replicate the defect with all these things, right? So, the next thing is use exact environment and build version. So, environment plays a vital role. Think of the environment what has changed since you have raised the defect. You should always reproduce the issue in the same environment and same build. So, in every organization, there will be multiple testing environments like QA, SQ and all right. So, make sure you are testing in the same environment which you have used while reporting the issue. Also make sure the build version is same. You can also check there should not be any changes to your existing database. So, database also should be same. So, always make sure when you are reproducing an issue, you should use same environment and same build version. The next thing is focus on test data. So, we all know test data can be a root cause of a issue. So, make sure you are using the same test data which you have used while reporting the issue. One more thing you can always do, you can clear all cache and cookies while performing any testing. right? So, when particularly you are reproducing an issue, you can always clear your cache and cookies. Then you can always check for the similar bug or patterns. So, sometimes looking for a similar bug or patterns can be helpful in reproducing a bug. It will be easier to identify the scenario if the pattern is understood. Okay. So, the next point is verify few more times with patience. You should always verify the defect multiple times and if you are finding it once also, you should raise it. Okay. And patience plays a very key role in testing. So, test your application with patience. Then the next thing is you should check the logs, right? So, logs are the great source for narrowing down the issue. So, you, you will able to understand 
which exact module the defect is right. So, always check your logs. You can also check your APIs if you are testing any UI and you know this particular API is getting called. So, verify that API is working fine or not. The last point is you should collaborate with your developers. So, if you will collaborate with your developer, maybe you will able to find or verify any specific code. Okay. So, that will help you to reproduce the issue. So, these are the few tips you can always use when your defect is not reproducible. You can explain all these points in the interview. Hope this video is helpful for you. Thank you. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comment section. I will try to explain it. Please like, share and subscribe to my channel.